Hey, welcome back. Uh, welcome to Cooking Cooking with Cookie. I'm, uh, I'm Cookie, and today we're gonna do something really simple. We're gonna do cabbage steaks. Uh, it's f really simple. You can use you got most most people have the stuff you need to make it in your in your kitchen already. Uh, simple spices. Cabbage is cheap. This is a pretty easy dish. So with that, we'll get into it. Um, Special shout out, today is Jake's birthday, so happy birthday, Jake, we miss you. And uh, with that, we'll get into it. So, when we're, cooking the, when we're cooking the cabbage, or when we're cutting the cabbage, you wanna cut a little bit of the, uh, you wanna cut a little bit of the stem off. Not all of it. Not much, right? Now you got something flat to work with. So when you have something flat to work with, um, and again, this has already been, rinsed clean everything like that you want to pick fresh cabbage something that feels a little heavier than it should maybe you want to cut uh, one inch one inch steaks and it's really simple take one off that might be a short inch right there maybe closer to three quarters of an inch but and we're placing them on a cookie sheet, a foiled cookie sheet, and we're gonna get into what we do with that in a minute. So once you get to the middle, go back to the end, because you wanna still have that flat spot, okay? So we ended up with five steaks, and I could probably make six out of this and cut this one in half. Okay. So now for the fun part, right? We're gonna drizzle some oil on here. Don't skimp on the oil, all right? We're using extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna take a brush. We're just gonna make sure that oil spreads all over everything. If you don't have a brush, you can do it with your fingers. Since I'm feeding my son this stuff, he wouldn't need it if I used my fingers. I don't know, he's kind of picky. So, we got everything, got our oil spread fairly even. I'm gonna start with granulated garlic. And I usually do put, pour these in the cool little stainless cups, but you know, I have more uh, ability to put this where I want from the dispenser. I like garlic, I'm using a lot of garlic. All right, fresh cracked brown uh, black pepper to taste. Again, I'm a big fan. I like a nice even layer of cracked black pepper. And if you don't have one of these fancy battery powered pepper, pepper mills, then you know you can, you can use regular black pepper as well. All right, we're also gonna use some sea salt. Don't need a ton of salt here. This is better as a shaker than it is as a grind. All right. Now we're gonna flip everything over and repeat the process. So one thing I forgot to mention earlier is, you know, before we start, before you start cutting everything up and, and uh, getting into your spices and whatnot, it's a good idea to start the oven. So that way, when you're all done, you're not waiting around 15 minutes for the oven to heat up. Unless you have time like that, well, if you got time like that, well then that's cool too. So, it happens when you put oil on your fingers, you get oil fingers. It's not butter fingers, it's oil fingers. Spread the oil. This is a really easy and quite frankly, flavorful dish. And um, it's, it's one that makes it, you know, you can, whip it up and like I mentioned earlier, it's really inexpensive. A head of cabbage is a dollar. 
makes a great side dish, but it also makes, you know, something to snack on. All right, so with that, uh, oh, we gotta do black pepper. There's other things you can add, like uh, crack, some, some people put uh, crushed red peppers on here, um, granulated onion, onion powder. Some people add paprika in the form of uh, seasoned salt. I'm, I'm a salt, pepper, garlic kind of guy. It's your recipe. Try it out, do what you want to do, uh, and um, you know, make it, make it the flavors that you like. So we're gonna throw this in the oven, and uh, we'll, we'll be right back. All right, we got everything, uh, got everything on the cookie sheet, everything spiced up, oiled up, so we're gonna throw it in the oven now. We do 400 for 25 minutes. We do 400 for 25 minutes. And when it comes out, it'll be nice and golden brown and super flavorful. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Right. You can see the different the different uh, different slice uh, thicknesses produced a, a little different result. So we got uh, you know these ends they, they crisp up really nice. All right, so there you have it. We got some. Uh, Cabbage steaks, it's not really steak, but it is really cabbage. So have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Uh, make sure you hit like and, and uh, subscribe below and, and let us know what, what we can make for you. Have a great day.